God bless Otubere, our global president ready to lead Africa. And I'm Ike Jibada Brichi Kingsley, the President General of the Progressive Abia Youth Association. We are at Omoawa Alosha, a community in Omoawa North, LGA of Abia State. We are, we are uh, running a health outreach and voters registration exercise in the community, encouraging the locals to come out, register their, themselves and get their PVCs and also get their, their health status checked and um, affirmed because like they say, health is wealth. That's why we're here, to keep the people healthy and wealthy. As a partner organization to this coalition, uh, we are literally helping to register more people in Abia State to have their PVC. Uh, so far, the data showing on INET portal is saying that since last year up until now, we have less than 60,000 people that have registered for their PVC in Abia State. And that is not a good number when you look at the fact that we have an election coming up uh, just within a year uh, or less than a year you know, in 2023. So uh, what we're doing here today is working with uh, other partners locally and internationally to ensure that we bring voter registration and healthcare support to the local people. The goal is to increase the number of voters in the 2023 general elections. And let me say this, it's a non-partisan movement. It's a non-partisan engagement. We're only doing this because we want to deepen the practice of democracy in Nigeria and in Abia State. Well, the, the response has been amazing. Absolutely, You, know, you, yeah. you see the, the uh, enthusiasm with which the people embrace mm -hmm. this exercise. You see the, the older women uh, waiting for us, even even before we, we arrived, they were yeah. here, you know, yeah. since 7 a.m. So it shows how the people are open and willing to uh, embrace opportunities like this. And kudos to them, kudos to the youth organization that mobilized themselves and numbers yeah. to turn up for this, uh, this exercise. And the, the women as well, the, the uh, community chiefs, the leadership of the community, you know, they've shown that they are progressive. And, you know, we are inspired by uh, their commitment to this, to this uh, outreach. And with what we've seen today, we are more motivated and uh, more encouraged to push on with this pro project, even as we, we intend to reach out to other communities and local government areas in, in the state. I mean, if I might just add to that, uh, what we also noticed was that even there were people that were going to their farms, but they had to stop by, yes, you know, just, just to say yes. we want to get our PVC. Yes. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there are other communities in Abia State where we have gone to do pre-implementation uh, visits, and the people are like, if we can bring this process to them, they will get their PVCs and they will vote in 2023. So uh, the reception has been good. The hall is packed full. We have both older people and younger people, and that is really, really encouraging. Okay, uh, the exercise is completely and totally free. We're not charging any fee. Um, we have uh, renowned partners. We have uh, Nigerian Physicians Advocacy Group, MPAG. Uh, we have the African Permanent Health Healthcare Foundation. We have Ready to Lead Africa. We have the Progressive Abia Youth. And we have the 100 Igbos. These are organizations, progressive organizations, you know, organizations that you know, have found the need to engage uh, the people at the local level and get them to take responsibility because that is uh, the only way we can get a better society. The name of the project is Ready to Vote Sorum Sor Sor Tua Sor uh, Abia State Project. So this project is going to last up until the, the end of the registration so, process yeah, exactly. in the, uh, according to INEC, uh, and that's towards the end of June, June 2022. So uh, we're, we're in the state for the period. Uh, we're working in the 17 local government areas. Today we are in Umwa here, Umwa North, North LGA. Uh, you know, LGA, and uh, we're also going to be going to Umwa South and Abba South, Abba North, uh, all the just, Kuala, just Kuala, name yeah, them. All the we're, we're, we're going to be going there and like you asked, it is absolutely free. It is sponsored by Indigos, people who are from this state who believe that the state should be better represented at all levels, whether at the state level or the federal level. And one of the ways to do that is to get our PVCs and be ready to vote and be ready to surround so to all, you yeah. know, so that is it. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's a very, very mm -hmm. uh, insightful question. Well, we have a strategy that we've mapped out 
it might interest you to know that the people that are doing this registration at the local level are the locals themselves. Young people. Yeah, young people from yeah. these LGAs. We have um, a 4-4 four, four, uh, formation, a system of eight people in two teams in each LGA. These people will go down to uh, the communities that they intend to visit beforehand, inform them and get them sensitized, just like we did here. Before we came here, we got uh, the women organization engaged, we got the youth organization engaged, we got the chiefs and the president general and the leadership of the community involved in, in the process. So it's uh, a co-creation model that we are, we, are, we are adopting and that's what uh, means, that's what helps us to ensure that the communities we go to will know beforehand and get prepared to receive us and also the part of whatever it is. And, 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 and to just add to that, we might, you might also see our team members who are just going into the communities, into homes, into, into market areas and just registering people. Whilst we believe that there's a strategy to get the communities prepared and you have dates, we also have a mobile strategy where our community volunteers have their laptops and their gadgets to be able to just register people on the go. So uh, you may find us in your community without prior notice. It doesn't mean that we have not informed the President Generals and all the lessons for people, but it means that it is an ongoing exercise and we are doing everything we can to capture as many people as possible. Well, uh, my word for people of Abia State come to today is to take advantage of this opportunity. We are making history. This is the very first time that you know this kind of exercise is being done in Abia State. Abians coming together from home and abroad to uh, present this opportunity for the people to come out and register themselves to vote. Because we observe that in 2019 elections, the total number of votes that decided who became the governor of Abbasi was just about 241,000 in a population of over 4 million people. That That's is abysmal. So my message to them is to take advantage of this opportunity, come out, get registered, take your civic responsibility seriously because that is the only way we get a, a better society. We cannot continue to organize. We have to find a way to organize ourselves and you know, galvanize the resources we have to ensure that we get Abia to where we want it to be. So join us, get registered, get yourself tested. We want you to have a very, very healthy life. And we are saying, join us, Surayan Tour, check yourself, and be ready to make the change you want to see. Like our progressive Abia youth have said, they're strongly on the ground in Abia. And for us, I'm ready to lead Africa uh, to represent the global coalition of this project. Uh, to the men and women, sons and daughters, the youths of Abia, it is in your hands. Uh, 2023 is just around the corner. If you sit out, you will be left out. If you don't register to vote, other people will vote the people that you don't need. So what is the idea? We have brought this to your doorstep. Get your PVC and be the one to determine who will be your governor, who will be your House of Assembly member, who will be your House of Reps member, who will be your senator, and who will be the president of Nigeria come 2023. If you don't, you have no reason to complain. But because you don't want to complain, you are not going to be ready to vote, and you are going to Saram. Saram Tua. Saram Tua. God bless you, and God bless Abi. Thank you.